This newborn calf's name is Winnie. And this is a dairy farm, the reality of where milk and other dairy products come from. Along with other calves, Winnie is taken from her mother within hours of birth and force-fed milk replacer with a tube. Her mother's milk, meant for her, is taken for consumption by humans. If allowed, Winnie's mother would have spent about seven months caring for and nursing her baby. Mother cows form a strong bond with their calves and cry out for them when separated. Male calves, since they will not produce milk, are useless to the dairy industry. These calves are raised for veal or beef, or sometimes even just left to die. Calves like Winnie, frightened and separated from their mothers, are often kicked, shoved, thrown, and pulled by their ears and tails. Winnie may stay at the facility and be farmed for milk herself. Before Winnie and the other calves are six weeks old, workers burn or cut their horns off their heads at 94% of dairy farms. In most cases, hot irons are pressed against a calf's head, painfully burning away the horn tissue. These innocent calves are tied down to stop them from struggling. Although this cruel practice results in third degree burns and nerve damage, only 18% of farms use any sort of pain mitigation. The pain can last for weeks. As Winnie must be lactating to produce milk, she is kept almost continuously pregnant, having only a few dry months out of the year. Cows are first impregnated at about 13 months of age, and their pregnancies last for about nine months. In a process called artificial insemination, workers insert semen into Winnie's vagina using a metal tube and later an arm into her rectum to check for pregnancy. Once Winnie gives birth, her calf is taken from her almost immediately so workers can harvest her milk for human consumption. The cycle of cruel abuse continues. Workers hit cows like Winnie with poles, spray them with high pressure water, kick and punch them, and twist their delicate tails. Winnie and the other cows are milked multiple times a day, often with robo-milkers. This can lead to suffering from a painful infection of their mammary glands, usually resulting from bacteria introduced either during the milking process or from things like contamination from milking equipment, milking personnel, manure contamination, or dirty stalls. In just the last 40 years, selective breeding has doubled the amount of milk produced by each cow. In the US, a cow like Winnie now produces seven and a half gallons of milk a day. Winnie and other cows are kept in tightly packed conditions far from the idyllic green fields portrayed by the dairy industry. Instead of grazing in pastures, they stand in thick feces and filth. This is the reality of dairy farming. If Winnie or another cow becomes too sick or injured to move on her own, as many cows trapped in the dairy industry do, she will be deemed a downer. Workers often drag and even lift these poor defenseless cows with cruel metal hip clamps. Workers kill downer cows, often in a way that causes excessive pain and suffering. This cow has been shot in the head with a rifle, but has survived. She must be shot again. Even if Winnie avoids becoming a downer, her milk production drops after about six years. Although a cow's natural lifespan is about 20 years, the dairy industry considers them worthless as soon as their milk production goes down. She's then considered spent and sent to slaughter. Once Winnie and these other innocent cows reach the slaughterhouse, workers often shock them with electrical prods and spray them with high pressure water hoses to keep them moving. Winnie and the others are often stunned with a bolt gun to the head, but often remain conscious after the first shot. This means that Winnie or another cow may be shot multiple times or hoisted upside down by one ankle while still conscious and thrashing before her throat is eventually slit. If Winnie was unable to stand, a worker might drag her by a chain or suffocate her by standing on her nostrils. This is the true cost of a glass of dairy milk. 
the meat and dairy industries are intrinsically linked. All cows, whether male or female, will be slaughtered for meat at a fraction of their natural lifespan. This cruelty happens to Winnie and other cows in the dairy industry because people consume meat and dairy. You have the power to protect cows like Winnie. Your choice of vegan alternatives to meat and dairy will spare these remarkable, sentient animals from a lifetime of torture. Your kindness and generosity can change the way the world views animals like Winnie. Please donate to Animal Outlook and our team of undercover investigators today. Standing together, we can build a kinder tomorrow for animals.